Okay, so basically, once you go inside the aircraft, you start. Okay, so you start with your before engine start checklist. So first of all, you select your parking brake. Park check set. Yeah. So to get reach the parking brake, you need to adjust your seat. You adjust your seat by touching by using this handle. Don't use this or the control yoke, the throttles or anything else. This handhold to adjust your seat. Put it. There's a bar underneath your seat as well to move it back and forth. You want to make sure it's locked. So to, to set your parking brake, you need to. So basically, to set your parking brake, you need to press the handles, and it's the handle at the very bottom, and you pull it towards you to lock. You can see what the yeah, it's down there. So then, flight control is checked. So all the way over, and left wing down, right wing. Doors are closed, so to open and close the door, it's release, pull towards you, make sure you give it a solid pull. There's also an indication on the door, I don't know if you can see that, when it's an oil pressure based sensor, so when the engine is running, it will flick up and that will identify the door is secured. And that's basically to stop you from opening the door of flight because you have the propeller here. And what I recommend when you have passengers in the back, because the passengers, they might not be familiar with the aircraft. I just go outside and check manually from outside if the door is, is locked. True. But that is a pilot, so he knows how to check it. So next is your seatbelts. Standard car seatbelt from your shoulder, across your waist, two point, two point seatbelt. And you have your connection here, like, like a regular car. Always use your right hand. Okay. <laughs> um, Always make sure you take yours, not the instructor's ones, because then he can get upset with you. Very important is landing gear. So in this case, you can see the landing gear is extended. Yeah, actually, Sorry, uh, the landing gear is down to the down indication. Okay. Um, next is master switch. So here you have your master switch, middle button, red button, still be on. Um, the next then is you check your feels are off. Okay. Then you check that your avionics. So this is the avionics here. Center console, left to the left. Stand by one second. I'm gonna try to put some lights. There we go. And you have your cross buses. Okay. So we're gonna do a video further where we explain the electrical system in the aircraft. But just for the moment, this, you just need to know where the switches are. Uh, your throttles. You check your throttles are idle. So throttles um, on this aircraft are the closest to you. You have your propellers in the middle and your car beat. So you're checking your control is idle. Pro propeller levers, so the blue levers uh, with the ridges are your propeller. So you want to go full forward. And your chokes. So you've got two levers here, which are your chokes for both your engines. Um, when do you use it? So basically, it's, it's based on a number of factors. So two or one primarily is when it's the first flight of the day. Um, so it's the first light of the day, if the engine is in any way cold, you want to go uh, open your chokes, so that's straight down, so fully depressed, and to close them, is, which you'll see later in the flow, uh, or in the checklist, how you close them. Um, so just for the, um, it's unusual compared to other aircraft you might fly, like a like homing engine or continental engine in, in your Cessna, that uh, this aircraft actually, uh, like, or the, Rotax 912 engine has uh, chokes like a, like a car engine or an old fashioned car. Just parking brake, I couldn't see it before, so it's that uh, lever over there. Alright, continue please. So, next is your flaps. So, because you do your uh, walk around flow in your video, you notice that you put your flaps to to landing. So, in this case, you will place it up. So, there's three, three modes in the um, most recent um, Technum P2006. You have takeoff. Uh, up, take off, and landing. Okay, so it's it's not a uh, constant switch. So it's a forget a set and forget switch. So for example, if I wanted to go to take off, I would go to take off and forget about it. And then I can just check here. Whereas sometimes you have a spring loaded switch, which makes it a bit long, a bit a bit more work or a bit more monitoring. So flaps up, navigation lights. So our light panel is here below us. So you've got. So left to right, you've got your landing, taxi, navigation, and strobe lights. Um, so we want to go, navigation lights are on. 
so fuel quantity uh, we want to, for battery purposes we want to save the the battery so we want to check our fuel quantity so to our right here mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna check the um okay we'll we check, we check that uh, let's continue so we can stop after the before engine starts uh, so then you want to check your esp voltmeter so this is down below so this is your auxiliary battery which you set to press this button keep it five seconds and you can see you got a green indication there mm -hmm. So then fuel selectors, so fuel selectors are up here above you. So you've got you want to check that they uh, are open. So you want to go, so this is the left engine fuel selector, so it's indicating that it's set to the left tank. You can two other modes, you can go to the right tank. So you're in this scenario, your left engine is feeding off your right tank, and then to go off, you can see this little handle here, so you pull that straight towards you and then you can go to off so in this case your fuel is actually switched off do you want to avoid so there's a safety catch here spring notice safety catch so you want to set so you don't actually need to so you can go look you can go from here but if you want to go to off you can't you got to pull this lever to go to off nice so again we're on the left tank right tank so they're checked and then you would go weather info, so you have different procedures for your skills. So here is you get your weather info from your ages. So you would select your radios here, uh, your flight clearance, and your startup clearance. So what do you get first? Do you get the so in the normal sequence, the normal procedure is you should get your weather info. So you could get weather info, information alpha, and then your Q and H, you know, one zero one three or whatever. And then once you go for your flight clearance, you obviously need to quote them. So the proper sequence and flow is weather information then flight clearance and then startup clearance okay thank you very much we will take so a break and after you've done yes yes after you've done a, a checklist you should always say on commencing the checklist you go before engine start checklist and then on completion to make sure you've captured all items you go before engine start checklist completion yeah. at that point then you can move on as which we will okay thank you very much uh, so for the next checklist engine start checklist uh, watch the next video and don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, comment down below. Thank you.